Hello nurses, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing in the NCLEX. Today's focus is on cardiac lecture number 29, acute coronary syndrome, myocardial infarction, interventions, ECG, and labs. To pave the way to an MI. I can be found on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, NursingCamp.com. I'm going to be covering this fishbone because we're going to talk about labs today. And labs are very important, especially with MI. So we've talked in a previous lecture about how a person who comes in with chest pain is going to get um, ona MB. And ona MB is high follows oxygen, nitro, aspirin, uh, morphine, uh, beta blockers. These are all anticipated. But some other things that they're going to get is also going to get labs. And labs more specifically to see is there truly damage to the cardiac tissue? And what happens is whenever there is damage to the cardiac tissue, um, they secrete enzymes. And these enzymes are called troponins, myoglobins, or CKMB, and CK. That's all called, also called the total. So the first to rise is troponins, then uh, MBs, and then the CK total is just specifically says muscle injury. I'll talk a little bit more about that. But so we're going to draw serials, and this changes all the time. So it's not really that you need to know there's going to be three sets, because some hospitals they do two sets, and sometimes they do them two hours apart or six hours apart, or eight hours. You know, it all depends on your policy. So NCLEX tends to stay away from this. So, but you need to know that troponins are first to rise. And, and sometimes you'll even see myoglobins first to rise. Um, but troponins uh, are first to rise. Troponin T, T to the top is first to rise. Okay, um, what else do you do? Well, other interventions are that when we're doing our enzymes, we're going to do our en set of enzymes. So we're going to do serial troponins, serial cardiac enzymes. Uh, I can't spell it out. And that's this fishbone. And I covered this fishbone previously in chronics. This is total cholesterol, 200. Triglycerides, we bring the two over here, 200. Okay, so two plus two equals uh, 0.04. And that's your troponin T, okay? And that's the first to rise. And that is less than four hours, okay? So 0 0.04 less than four hours. Then we have one to 50, okay? So I usually bring this 50 over to here. That's your CKMB. And that should be less than 50. It's not as specific. It's kind of, they kind of dance around between these two, um, but it's still tested on and just you have to be aware of it. Then there's a CK um, total. Okay, so what does that mean? So as we said earlier, all these enzymes start to get um, secreted. Well, they put, think of a cup and they're all in a cup. Well, that's the CK total. But more important is inside is your MBs, your troponins and stuff like that. And that's kind of what they're talking about. So if you see an elevation in the CK total, um, that's that could be muscle injury. Because CK, creative kinase, is everywhere in all the muscle tissues. And the heart is a muscle. Okay? So that's an important concept to understand. So a CK total is um, muscle injury um, before specifics. Like troponin is what it is. It's a heart. However, the heart can be really stressed and elevate that troponin. troponin. Um, then there's another one called troponin little one. And these generally, both of these generally will peak in 24 hours. Okay. So if you see elevated troponins, um, that's an acute MI. All right, so that's cardiac enzymes. 
What else do we have? We also have um, ECG. So he's going to give him. A, we're going to put him on a monitor. Lead two. And the reason we monitor and lead two, see my ECG lecture, is that when we're looking at the heart and the left ventricle, um, lead two looks at this section. And that left ventricle, because it pumps all the O2, is the most important. So that's why we monitor and lead two. It's not saying we don't monitor mm -hmm. the other ones, but most likely is we monitor and lead two. Lead one's a little bit over here. A little bit more lateral and um, and lead three is a little bit more inferior underneath okay but lead two is like the perfect picture of that left ventricle so what are we monitoring for we're monitoring for st elevations and st depressions because in lead two an ECG should look like this, okay? So if it looks like this, that is ischemia. That means there's damage potentially that it's deprived of oxygen. There's no O2. But here, if somebody was admitted with or diagnosed with an MI, they'll have an ST uh, elevation. That's also called a STEMI. All right, so this is acute, this is acute. Um, hours later, it actually will start to drop. And it actually starts to decrease. You know, and then two to three days later, what you'll start to see is that that, that rhythm will actually start to change. Okay, so you'll start to see something like it drops underneath, so this T wave inversion two to three days later and then up to almost two weeks you're going to see a t wave inversion now this is most likely don't hammer me in comments and stuff like that because i know there's variations to everything but this is the most likely on um, that general progression of a normal mi all right so another thing i just want to talk about is q waves now, mm -hmm. Q waves are, there's non-Q wave MIs, there's Q wave MIs. Now, NCLEX will not test you on identifying a Q wave. So Q wave is a little inflection down. And that Q wave um, is a indicator of an MI. Um, but they'll say Q wave. They're not going to ask you to identify it and stuff like that. So that's the thing with uh, ECG and rhythms. They're not going to say what's the ST elevation, what's ST depression. They'll give you that it's a Q wave, or that they'll say ST elevation, you know, or ST depression. Patients on a treadmill have an ST depression. You need to know that's acute, and that patient needs to stop. So ECG labs and um, uh, telemetry. So they'll always get a 12 lead and um, whenever they're having chest pain. And the interventions are ONA MB. That's about it. My name is Camp and this is Nursing Camp and that was covering uh, interventions, ECG, and labs. I can be followed on um, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Etsy. I know a lot of people are on Instagram. Um, and that's probably my lowest following group, I guess because I don't post enough images and the videos are too long. So please follow me on Instagram. Be, be aware of my new stuff coming out. And we'll see you next time. Nurse on. All right, bye.